uh, welcome back to the Jai Family Channel. Today we will be doing a things girls wish guys, guys knew. knew. So basically we have a few topics that we're going to go over and we'll put a little two cents into what we feel about them. Uh, to get started, the first topic is girls can see when guys are lying. And the guys need to know that it, it's obvious. It's obvious. So um, basically... If your girl comes up to you and she has like receipts or she asks you straight up questions, don't sit there and lie about it because she at the end knows. of the day, she already knows. And if she <laughs> has receipts, then you're going to end up looking crazy. And, and a lot of them look like a liar. Yeah. And you don't want to be a liar because then that causes trust issues. So in a situation, the best thing to do is be straight up. Don't, um, don't have her be guessing because at the end of the day, whatever the situation is, if you don't say it, somebody else will find out and say it to her. Or she'll have the receipts, and at the end of the day, you end up looking like the worst person. So, advice to some guys. Um, be the bigger person, be the better person, and own up, don't lie, because it's not cute. And at the end of the day, the lies always come out. Facts. Um, same thing, lying makes things worse. This goes both ways. It's only this way, um, because of the way we are, but um, it can go both ways. Girls can feel the same way about guys. Guys feel the same way about girls, but lying is um, something that um, makes things worse, obviously, for both genders. So, um, advice to females as well, no lying, be straight up. Period. Period. Um, and then, oh, um, this one, guys need to, uh, guys need to understand that. Which one? This one. Oh. Oh yeah, so guys need to understand, so something that I wish guys knew is that guys need to understand that they ruin it for other people, like ruin, ruin relationships I guess, like that. Yeah, like, and trust, like they don't trust you. Like if say one guy like messes up, then like the girls gonna be like, oh I don't trust or I don't like this certain type of guy because in my past um, my ex messed up, he was kind of like him. Yeah, that goes with the same thing, that's where like the boys ain't crap thing yeah. came from because like, girls like when they go through something let's say that they're one of their boyfriends cheat them wrong obviously they're gonna think that oh all guys are like that and then guys get very upset when you say oh guys ain't crap guys ain't crap it's down a third because they're like why are you saying all guys not all guys are like that <laughs> and then <laughs> and then but like at the end of the day you have to understand that a girl's gonna Say what she says depending on how she's been treated in the past so you can't expect every girl to come with you come up to you with an open mind and be like oh i put all my trust into this dude because at the end of the day he might just treat you the same way Period. and then you'll be upset Probably. so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so guys you understand that you guys ruin it for each other at the end of the day tell your bros to stop, stop playing, playing with games. these females stop playing games <laughs> stop playing games be straight up and tell them how it is because i think Part of it is the miscommunication, and then you have her out going looking out sad. Same thing with guys, you have them going out sad because you're not being honest. So, um, yeah, that's our second thing that we need think guys should know. Um, and then our third topic is boys not taking rejection. Guys, oh my God. take rejection. It's okay, <laughs> everyone's gonna get rejected. At I'm some good. point, can they? Okay, okay. <laughs> At some point in their life, so don't be that person who's ignorant about it. You know how many times you've been walking down the road, and whether it's out of respect for a boyfriend or just because you're not trying to do all that, you walk by, so go, oh hey, oh you fine, let me get your number, and you keep walking, and they're like, oh you bougie, this is why I don't mess with this. Like I was at the <laughs> club and I was walking, but I wasn't like, it's like a whole bunch of grown old men. And I was like, just walking with my friends, and like, heads were snapping. And I was like, gosh. And so I was like, looking down on my phone, not trying to talk to anybody. And this guy comes up to me, and he was like, oh, you so bad. Let me get your number. And I keep walking because, like, I feel like if I sit down and have a conversation with you, I probably end up have, trying to ask me for my information. I really don't want to give it out. So I'm just gonna keep walking. And then he comes up and grabs me, and I'm like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> And he's like, that's why I don't like twins. Y'all so bougie. This time third. third. How are you gonna keep walking in like I didn't even hear him say all that. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where you were. I think I was walking I but, I listened. Yeah, oh my girl Haley, she was there and we're all like 
and like we have friends there so we're like guys don't touch us don't touch us don't do all that but guys if the girl says no or she ignores you that does not mean that you go yell louder or you go grab yeah, her yeah don't grab cause that's, or, that's just scary yeah it's scary you'd be ah <laughs> and don't go grab her because at the end of the day you look crazy i understand it could be a little disrespectful but so you gotta understand that everyone's trying to have a conversation or not everyone wants to be talked to and some pla some people have places to be so they're not going to be sitting there trying to have a conversation with you especially if they're not interested so don't be that guy who's grabbing Kurt calling girls out their names being rude just take rejection and say oh maybe next time maybe another girl will give me the time of day don't be that rude person yeah i, I really I felt that. <laughs> I was playing. But yeah, I agree. Um, really the grabbing, like that just shouldn't happen. No matter no matter if she's being rude or not, even though there's no reason to be rude, just be like no. The grabbing situation is a no go because that's just scary. It's scary. Yeah, it is scary. I think the best thing to do in the situations is to say no thank you or the best phrase is I have a boyfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> and just keep it going. Um yeah. Let's see, next topic. It's your topic. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, my first, I think guys should know that talking out the curses of your butt isn't cute. Like, boosting yourself up to something like, oh, I'm not that type of guy. I want to do this, I want to do that. And then do it. Like, that just ruins everything. Yeah. And that goes back to, like, guys doing things for each other because if you're trying to talk to a girl, right, it's better to be straight up, oh, I did this, I did that, and just not boost yourself up. Make yourself look like a, I mean, be yourself. Yeah, be but yourself. But don't come in and say, oh, I'm the best guy you ever meet, and I do this and a third for you. I never cheat. I never <laughs> cheat. And when you're, like, having a, like, girl talk, let's say he's there, and then he's, like, I'm um, saying, um... Boosting himself up, making himself seem, make you understand him, right? So you're understanding him, and then all of a sudden, let's say you start dating him, and then things flip, and he's the opposite, and then you're like, he just boosted your head up, now you got her on her feelings, now you look like a liar. So honestly, just be straight up. Don't boost yourself to the point where it's a lie. I mean, you can be like, oh, I'm that guy. But like, <laughs> don't be, don't do too much because at the end of the day, it's gonna come out. You're gonna look so completely different, and they end up looking crazy. Yeah, that as well. And then just saying stuff to get girls to think of you a certain way. Yeah. And in some situations, act a certain way with you, and then you just turn it around. Like you lie to make her think one thing, and then you do the complete opposite. That's just disturbing. Yeah, next topic, um, more with the guy's wardrobe. Girls wish guys knew the sagging is it's not cute. cute. Um, at the end, like, when you walk down the road and you see a guy with his pants by his ankles, it's like, why do you even got your pants on? Not in a weird way, <laughs> but like, why do you even have your pants on if you're not gonna pull them up? And no one wants to see your, like, butt. No one wants to see your butt crack. No one wants to see any of that. Like, if you're gonna wear pants, wear them to a, a level of your waist. I'm not saying you gotta have a belt on, but there's a level to the sagging thing. <laughs> like, some people sag like under their butt. Like, why even have your pants on, right? So, yeah, that's just not cute. And when guys, I don't understand why they have like three shorts on, like <laughs> under their pants, and they'd be showing like each short. Like, why are you doing that? They'd be having their pants hanging down to their knees, then they got their shorts on, and then they got their underwear showing. Like, why have all that? I don't know why you have all that under your shorts in the first place, but I mean, it's just not cute when it's all showing out there. It really isn't. And our last topic of tonight is guys drunk talking. Not cute. Yeah, like, when a guy comes up to you and he's like intoxicated and he's like, all up in your area. I hate people all up in my area. Yes, they're all in your area. True. They're breathing on you. They barely making any sense because they're not in the right state of mind. And then they're like talking. It's like, what are you even talking about? You can't get past these like in your area. And he's like trying to talk. And he's like, I don't even want to talk to you. Uh, that's just not attractive to me. I, don't, I drunk people. Uh, like I don't. It's just too. Tra it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even both goes both ways yeah. for girls. Like even when I'm like in the club or whatever or out anywhere and then there's like a drunk person and they're like all in your area it's like 
back up some, always spitting on you, which is not cute. Same thing with go Dropping guys. the drinks. Dropping the drinks, no thank you. And the thing that brings it out about guys, because guys are most likely going to be bigger than you. And so when they're stumbling, falling, speaking all in your face, have no um, personal space, like they're all in your area, and like most likely what they say during that time, if they're trying to talk or spit game or do whatever, most of the time, um, what they say that night, they're not going to remember, remember, or they're not going to remember because they regret it. And at the end of the day, you're going to be like, what? Because you'll end up being, I guess, if you took them serious, I guess you end up getting hurt. But then they got to be like, oh, I didn't mean it. I was intoxicated. A bull excuse. But that's what ends up happening. And so, advice to guys. Maybe don't try to spit game when you're intoxicated. Yeah. Um, maybe learn some personal space. And I think that's our last topic of the night. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in again to the Ajay family. Um, please make sure to subscribe, like, yeah, and, and like comment. and comment. And we'll see you soon with another video. Bye. 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 Bye.